Praise God. Hallelujah. Beloved church family, I miss you so much. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Oh, hallelujah. Just keep getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. All this will be over real soon in Jesus' name. Amen. I am just so thankful for all the souls that are coming to know Lord Jesus. Amen. All the souls that through, through all of the enemy's deception, and listen, the, the enemy, that's all he has is lies, deception, pride, right? All these things that the enemy tries to put out there to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm so thankful that our God, say with me, Father God, Father God has a plan over your life and over my life, amen? And what is that plan? His plan is to bless you. And he has already through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Hallelujah. Is Jesus Christ perfect? Amen. Yes, he is. He's the only perfect one. God's perfect sacrifice. Amen. And glory to God. When we worship God this way, you can already feel the Holy Spirit's presence. Amen. Just flowing. Hallelujah. And I am so thankful. Glory to God. Our worship service this Wednesday evening is titled, Hold Firmly. Say that with me. Hold firmly. Amen. Glory to God. And I tell you right now, when you hold firmly, just like this picture that you can see on the screen, amen, it's a rock climber, and boy, I'll tell you right now, that person is holding on to that rock, amen, and I love this word, hold firmly, because it's white knuckle now, right, I mean, you ever grab so tight that your, your knuckles turn white, yes, amen, just like that, hold firmly, so in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I just, just like you, I just want to bless Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Let's say this together. Let's say this together. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we hold firmly to Holy Spirit. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So as we go into this worship service, up on the screen, you can see the four books that we're going to go through. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 2. And the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. And we want, to, we want to just be obedient in how Holy Spirit wants to bless. Hallelujah. Say it with me. New covenant church. Amen. We are covered by the blood of God. Amen. It's all because of the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ. And again, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We just, we just celebrated Sunday, right? In remembrance of Lord Jesus Christ is risen. Hallelujah. For all of eternity, glory to God. The name above every name will be worshipped. Hallelujah. Will be glorified. Will be honored. Amen. Will be blessed. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And hallelujah. We are stuck in this time for now until that trumpet goes off and you and I are in eternity. Glory to God. Oh my goodness, we're going to have so much fun. Amen. Think about how much fun we're having right now in this fallen earth, in this fallen world, with all the, with all the garbage distractions, right? Think about how much fun, how much gooder and gooder it is, all because of Lord Jesus Christ now, right? All glory to Lord Jesus Christ now, that Holy Spirit lives this abundant life through us as beloved children of God. Amen. Woo! Hold firmly to that. Amen. That as gooder and gooder as we have it, this ain't nothing, beloved church family. Mm. This ain't nothing compared to what our life will be for eternity with God. Amen. Oh, our Heavenly Father loves us so much. Hallelujah. He's head over heels in love with you. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that this message will touch somebody. Amen. Will, will cut you deep. And by the grace of God as it cuts you, life-changing revelation. Amen. Will be exposed within. Amen. Exposing the deception, the lies of the enemy. And by the grace and glory of God Almighty, that Holy Spirit power. Say that with me. Power. Hallelujah. Power is going to overflow from within you in Jesus' name. Do you receive that today? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Glory to God. So we're going to go into the New Covenant Church. Then we're going to go into Psalms. Into, in, into the book of Psalms. And what King David wrote in uh, chapter 62. Verses 5 through 8. And then we're going to close with Ephesians 6, verse 16. One of my favorite. And Holy Spirit has, has unctioned us, has imparted as far as speaking 
not, not only agape, amen, speaking as far as power through the words that we speak, amen, because remember, Holy Spirit goes before us. He's in our tomorrow, amen. That's why God says, don't worry about it. I'm there, amen. However, God says, choose life. I know many of us say, well, I choose Jesus. I choose life. I choose blessing. But beloved child of God, how are you speaking? Amen. How are you speaking? What's in your heart right now? Is it full of fear of all this going on? Let's rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's rebuke it in Jesus' name. No more. Say that with me. No more in Jesus' name. I am not going to fear anything. Only fear God Almighty. I only choose to fear agape. Hallelujah. Woo! Agape. Amen. In Jesus' name. I don't say that pridefully. I say that because God said so. What else does God have to do? Amen? What else does God have to do to prove to us that He's a good and perfect Father and that He sacrificed it all? And His name, hallelujah. I know many of you beat me. Keep on saying His name, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we know we're covered, Father, for all of eternity. And Father God, we don't say this religiously. We say this in complete reverence to you, Holy Spirit, in complete repentance, Father, that if I have done or said anything to displease you, forgive me, Father. I plead your holy blood. And Father God, change me. I ask you, Father, that through this worship service, that Holy Spirit, you are the only teacher. We go through no man only you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you are the only perfect man, the only Son of God. You are the only way, the truth, and the life. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you paid the price so that Holy Spirit can live in us as your beloved children. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we lift up your name, Father, we thank you for who you are. That you're a good and perfect Father and that you love us. And that, Father God, you will not hold anything back from us. Because you gave us Lord Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit as we call upon you and bless you. We know that you live in the Holy of Holies. The Holy Spirit we usher you in. In every area of our life Father. If we're prideful, disobedient. If Father God if we're deceived by the enemy. I pray in Jesus name Father. That scales will be removed off of our eyes. That Father God that you would clean out our ears. So we can hear your word for the first time. And Father as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that every demonic thing is bound up, that only through your blood, Lord Jesus, that we know that we are set free through the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Oh, Father God, we love you. We thank you, Father. Teach us, O oh Lord. Change us, O oh Lord. Bless us, O oh Lord, in how to hold firmly to your word. And Father God, how to be encouraging, above all, to our Holy Spirit within. Holy Spirit, you are our God. And as you expose the enemy, Give us the wisdom, and we thank you for the strength and the power that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ. In your precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, hallelujah, amen, praise God, amen, hallelujah. Give somebody a high five, praise God, before we start. Praise God, we love to give a high five, amen, hallelujah. Holy Spirit loves to give a high five, praise God. It doesn't matter that I'm physically the only one in this building. I know we are one in Lord Jesus Christ. We're all members of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One in his body and unified in his Holy Spirit. Amen. Give an angel a high five. Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise God. All his angels are around us. Fighting for us. Protecting us. Amen. And glory to God. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the glory of Lord Jesus Christ that shines all over you? All over your house. Wherever you're at right now. All of heaven right now. Within you and around you. Hallelujah, that God Almighty is saying, my child, my glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Woo, are you excited? Say amen with me. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's get into this. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 2. Praise God. And by this gospel, you are saved. What is the gospel? The gospel is God loves me so much that he sent Lord Jesus Christ. His only perfect son. This is the good news now. The good news of our savior. The good news of Lord Jesus Christ. The good news of the holy one that left heaven. Come to this fallen world. Was born from a virgin. Amen. Was born from a virgin. Lived a perfect life. Hallelujah. And in his perfection fulfilled every requirement of the law. 
because he wrote it. Can I get an amen? He spoke it. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And because our Lord Jesus Christ is so perfect, he took on his perfect body, being the perfect sacrifice, your sins. Past, present, future, my sins. Past, present, future on his perfect body. So that if, if we believe in him, we can have his identity. His identity. Say it with me, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. His identity as our very own. And by the grace of God on that glorious day when you called upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ to be your savior. Listen, you could have been at war. You could have been serving. You could have been serving overseas. You could have been fighting, right? Bullets flying all over the place. And you could have just been there saying, Lord Jesus, help me right there. In Jesus' name, salvation came upon you. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit moved in you. Born again. Amen. It doesn't matter where you're at. Whatever you're going through. Amen. You call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God says, I am here. My child, I am here. Hallelujah. And say his name, Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. How God has been teaching us. Amen. Holy Spirit is the only teacher now. How God has been teaching us. Amen. To be in complete reverence. Amen. To be in complete submission. Hallelujah. To bless his holy name. To bless his very presence within. Amen. To not become religious. Don't be crunchy. Amen. Don't be crunchy. But to rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Glory to God. I am so thankful when I, when I hear Pastor John preach. Amen. And just not only to feel the anointing of Holy Spirit, but to hear it through a pastor. Right? To hear it through a pastor as far as his intimacy, his walks that he takes. Not only with Lord Jesus Christ and how Holy Spirit leads and guides him, but the fellowship and the unification, the agape overflowing. Amen. With the husband and wife, Mary. Right? Oh my goodness. Praise God. I just, I'm just so thankful to be surrounded by elders the same way. Deacons. Our whole congregation. Amen. That we know when you worship Lord Jesus Christ, there's an accountability as a child of God that I know, God, you live in me. Amen. You live in me. Hallelujah. And when Holy Spirit lives in you, you know. Amen. I know who I'm talking to, beloved church family. You are a beloved child of God, covered by his blood. Hallelujah. You know that there's an accountability and expectation from the Holy One, Holy Spirit. Amen. And glory to God, when we live this way, whoo, watch out. Watch out, because it just gets gooder and gooder. Don't try to understand it. Amen. I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters just like, Jesus Christ is Lord. Don't you love that? I think it's Sister Amanda, Brother Joey, Brady, right now they're, Jesus Christ is Lord. It's just gooder and gooder. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my goodness, I just miss you guys so very much. So by this gospel, you are saved. Say it with me. I am saved. Hallelujah. How are you saved? By this gospel. That Lord Jesus Christ came to earth. God's perfect son, he took it upon his perfect body, fulfilled every requirement, everything, say with me, everything, he, he fulfilled it all to perfection. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ paid for every blessing, gooder and gooder. Amen. Do you receive it? Do you not? I was, was going to take it. Amen. I receive every blessing God paid for. Amen. For me. Amen. Say it with me. For me. For me. Hallelujah. For me. Amen. <laughs> Some of you are yelling back at me. No, for me. It's for, it's for us. We are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I am saved. And when you know that you are saved, it's because we just celebrated on Sunday now. Hallelujah. What an awesome message Holy Spirit brought. Praise God. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ died so we can live. Amen. He's no longer in the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. For all of eternity. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ right now. Right now is at the throne. Hallelujah. And I just pray in Jesus name that he just. Whoa. Look at my beloved church. Look at my beloved body. Look at my beloved children. Amen. That no matter what this world is doing, they're just rejoicing. Hallelujah. They're lifting up my name. You can just see Lord Jesus. Look at the Father and going, look, look, 
Father God. It's all to worship you. Look, they're lifting up my name. And the Holy Spirit's like, I will bless them. Hallelujah. I will bless them with my presence that is uncomprehendable in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pray for me. Hallelujah. We, we ain't even get through this, this whole verse yet. Hallelujah. <laughs> If you hold firmly, say it again with me, hold firmly to the word I preach to you. Beloved church family, I pray in Jesus' name that you know I'm not the teacher. Amen. Rebuke Joey. Holy Spirit's the teacher. But I pray in Jesus' name and for all of eternity that whoever has ears to hear the words that Holy Spirit's speaking out of my mouth in Jesus Christ's name, that you hold fast, hold firmly to the absolute truth that Holy Spirit is speaking. Amen. That you receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Say it with me. I receive you, Holy Spirit. Say it again. I receive you, Holy Spirit. Say it again. Change me, O Lord. Hallelujah. Change me, O Lord. Say it like this. I allow you, God, my Father, to change me, your beloved child. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And then sums it up and says, otherwise you have believed in vain. Vain means pride. Vain means it was fruitless. You believed in vain, meaning you're double-minded. So let's, let's repeat the whole thing. Praise God, Holy Spirit said so. Let's just be obedient. By this gospel, Lord Jesus Christ, you have been saved through the Holy Spirit. Amen? If you hold firmly to the word, the word of God is Lord Jesus Christ, I preach to you otherwise. Otherwise... You have believed in vain. In vain. Mm. It's, it's all vanity. It's all prideful, right? It's fruitless, right? There, 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 there's no fruit, nothing, right? We want to make sure that when we have this relationship with God Almighty, it's not a relationship based on your conditions, my conditions. You see, that's not a relationship with God. That's what religion is. Religion ad adopts, re religion adopts this mentality, and it is mentality, that yes, I know you're God, but I will live the way I want to live and do what I want to do. But yes, I recognize you as God. Well, guess what? When you're driving down the freeway, you can recognize that the speed limit is 65, right? You can recognize that, but you could be disobedient and drive 100 miles an hour. Next thing you know, Sarge is right behind you, right? Right? And so I'm telling you this because Holy Spirit right now is saying, charge my church. Wake up. Say it with me. Wake up. Because you cannot have a relationship with God based on your terms, your own terms and conditions. This, this is why Holy Spirit blessed us with the written word of God. So that from front to back, hallelujah, from front to back, amen, from Genesis to Revelation, you could read completely not only as far as the character, the soul of God, you could also read and hear and see the body of God through Christ our Lord, agape, amen. And then in the new covenant church, say with me, I am, I am, right? I am. You could not only read what Holy Spirit is doing through the apostle Paul, amen, right? Through Pastor Timothy, through all. You, you, you could see, hallelujah. But God is a God of order and God is a God of relationship, of intimacy, he always has been, amen? He always has been. He's always been chasing his children down, wanting a relationship. And glory to God, he gives us mercy upon mercy upon mercy to the point is we nailed mercy to the cross, killed him, tortured him, spit in his face. Glory to God, he's no, no longer in the grave. Hallelujah, he is risen. And that same resurrection power, if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that same resurrection power lives in you, lives in me. Hallelujah. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Therefore, hallelujah, therefore, it's therefore reason. Since we have a great high priest who has descended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. We covered this, hallelujah, last night extensively in I Am Recovered. Praise God. Let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. 
Amen? 2 Corinthians 4.13, it's not on here, praise God, but I believe and speak. This is the spirit of faith. How did you get saved on that glorious day? You believed in your heart. Amen? You believed in your heart, I need you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. However it is that you believe, you believed in your heart. And what happened? You spoke it out of your mouth. You cried, you grunted, you moaned, whatever, whatever took place, only God knows, but there was that exchange, amen? There was that exchange, that offering, hallelujah. Just like the beloved child you are, you said, here, daddy, here, daddy, I don't want it no more, amen? And that's all daddy was waiting for, right? That's all Abba Father wanted, was for you to say, I don't want it no more, amen? And glory to God, we made that. And I love this picture. I know this was the graphic of the overhead on the sermon title. But remember, when you hold firmly, glory to God, this picture just speaks volume, doesn't it? So how can we hold firmly? That is the question that many have. How can I hold firmly to this anointing, to this relationship with Holy Spirit? How can I hold firmly? Right? How can I do that? Well, in order to help, you know, in order to how can do blank, you need to have the understanding as far as all the variables that make up the question, right? You have to have an understanding as far as how do I approach this, amen? If you want the answer, you need to know what is the equation, correct? Right, if, if you're trying to solve for X, right? You're trying to solve for X, you can't just say equal X and go, okay, well, what does that mean? You have to have the part that says one plus four equal X, right? Okay, well, X equals five, amen? You know, just something simple as this. And this is what Holy Spirit wants to drive home as he blesses us with this anointing, with this revelation that only comes from him. Hallelujah. Is that when we want to learn how we can hold firmly, first thing we have to understand, and we've been covering this for years now. Hallelujah. But this is important to God because God wants us blameless. Amen. And what does he want blameless? Everything that you see pop up on the screen. Amen. Say it with me. I am an eternal soul. Say it with me. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Say it with me. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that in all those that you've done with me together as one in Christ, we did it touching ourselves, right? Right? I'm not doing the Macarena or nothing like that. I'm just showing you, right? You're touching yourself. This is Joey. But you cannot have a part of me, right? Amen? You cannot have a part of me and say, I don't want your soul. Right? You cannot say, well, Brother Joey, you know what? I just love your spirit, man. You know, I love your spirit, man, because, man, whoo, you have passion. You have passion. What many don't know is that it's not temporary passion. My passion is the eternal passion that my Lord Jesus Christ died for me he took it on his body that I died in him and I belong to him I am his property can you say that with me I am God's property amen I am his child amen see no matter how you say it some people like to say I am his prisoner amen if you were ever locked up right you know how that life is like right you don't do anything without them telling you what to do when to get up, stand in line, right? When it's time to eat chow, how to, right? Everything. And glory to God, I love it when we get so intimate and personal with Lord Jesus Christ, right? That we say, I am blank. I am yours, right? And hallelujah, when we come to God this way, it's a relationship. It's intimate, right? That you, that you know that I'm just taking all walls down. Hallelujah. All walls down. Praise God. And you know this because you got the soul, body, and spirit. And, and this is how we start to allow Holy Spirit in every area of our life, right? Spirit, soul, and body. We allow Holy Spirit to flow through us. Amen? Because family, I will tell you what the enemy hopes for a child of God to do is to hold on to unforgiveness. Hmm? Is to hold on to the abuse is to hold on to the worry that maybe a child is just not going to make it. Or maybe a child is just not acting right. 
Whatever it is, the enemy's hoping that you would pay more attention to that than what Lord Jesus Christ did. And glory to God, we have this moment right now in Jesus' name. Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah, no more. The distraction is no more. We're going to lay it down at Lord Jesus' feet. Hallelujah. And guess what? When we get up on our feet, because God will say, okay, get up, go. Amen? We're, you're not going to take that thing back up. Amen? You're going to leave it there. Hallelujah. Say it with me, hold firmly. Hallelujah. For, for those of you that are looking into this picture, yes, praise God. You can see that, that, that rock and that sling. Amen? And I love that picture. Praise God. David, say it with me, David. David is after God's own heart. That's, that's what the Bible says. That's what, that's what Brother David is known for. Amen? That's what Brother David was known for. He's a man after God's own heart. Hallelujah. And by the grace of God, you, beloved child of God, you, say with me, me, that's me. We have his heart. Amen. L look at what David did as a beloved child of God who was after God's heart. Amen. Even from the time when he was before Goliath, right? He would be watching all of God's creatures, loving on them, guiding them. He's the shepherd now. Amen. Right? He would go, he would go kill a bear, a lion. Oh my, right? He would go kill them if they messed with the sheep. Amen. And, he, and, he, and you could picture he just sing, he just worship and just sing to God. Hallelujah. Now let me ask you something, beloved church family. How many was in his congregation? How many people was around him? Did he have a pulpit? It was just him and God. See, by the grace of God, if you notice right now, there's that anointing. That we could be so consumed by everybody's opinion and what this world is doing and other people saying this and that and this church should do that. This pastor is doing this. Why aren't we doing this? Or we could just say, I rebuke all that and I just want to be intimate with you, Father. It doesn't matter if it's just you and me. I'm going to worship you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to bless your holy name. Father God, may your anointing flood me and shine through me like never before, Father. If I have to go to the grocery store, Father God, I thank you that you have gone before me. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God. You see, it's moments like this where we can actually go back into this moment of how David worshipped God. He was known after God's own heart now. But remember, he wasn't preaching to people. No. May I be, may I be so bold to say because he was young and scrawny and Right? And he was the shepherd boy. May I be so bold to say that he was just, where's David? Oh, he's somewhere out there. Right? Oh, he's somewhere out there. You can just see people doing it. Right? But little does anybody know that he's out there worshiping God Almighty. And you see the blessings of what David did. Amen? You see the anointing in how Holy Spirit has anointed him to do everything that he has done. Hallelujah for the kingdom of God. Glory to God. I mean, you think about it. Our Savior come from his lineage. This is how amazing the word of God is. This is the order of our God Almighty now. And by the grace of God, who lives in you? Who lives in me? Lord Jesus Christ. See, we are no longer after God's heart. We now have his heart. Amen. Amen. Isn't it beautiful that we now have his heart? We know who the great I am is because he done came, died, rose again, and the anointing, Holy Spirit, now lives in all of us. Amen? So having said this, we're going to go into Psalms in what Brother David wrote. Amen? We're going to start in verse 5. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Oh my goodness, hallelujah. Now I will tell you today, it almost took place where this was the only scripture that we were going to use for this worship service, for this Wednesday night worship service. I got hung up right here and just in awe of Holy Spirit 
and in awe of what God is doing through his holy church. That's you. That's me. That's your family. Amen. Say it with me. My house is covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is what Holy Spirit wanted to show because how do you hold firmly, right? Say it with me. Hold firmly to the gospel of peace. Amen. Right? Remember the equation, right? Remember that example, amen? I need to know, right? And that's who Holy Spirit is. See, Holy Spirit in worship and in trust, when you lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? When you lift up, not being prideful, just, just worshiping Lord, just, just giving God all the glory, amen? It's in that transparency where you have no agenda, you have, you just, all you want to do is just bless God, amen? And it's in that transparency, in that worship, where Holy Spirit will say, here it is. Hallelujah. And this is what Holy Spirit wanted to show us today. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. Say it with me. Soul. Amen. You already know where this is going. Hallelujah. My hope. Who is our hope? Hallelujah. Who is our victory? Amen. Who is the God of hope that fills us with all joy and peace? As you trust in Him through the power of Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13 says that. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, amen. Comes from Him. Who is Him? Amen. Who is Him? Say His name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And this is the body. This is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So right there on the screen, you can see God's order of how Brother David, in just worship, in just worship and for Holy Spirit to anoint him to write this down in the written word of God, in the Holy Bible. Amen. And to just show God's order. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And for here we are in, in 2020, April 2020. Amen. For Holy Spirit to show us how it pertains to our soul, spirit, and body. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Truly he is my rock. Say it with me, my rock. And my salvation. Say with me. He is my fortress. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just gets gooder and gooder in Jesus name. Amen. I will not be shaken. Say that with me. I will not be shaken. Hallelujah. I will not be shaken. By the grace of God. Holy Spirit taught us a little over a week ago. About his peace. Amen. And his peace. Hallelujah. His peace. Blesses us. With a solid foundation in Christ. Amen. To have our feet planted in his gospel. Amen. And this is the gospel of peace. Remember, what is the gospel? Good news. Say that with me. Good news. Last time I checked when someone had good news. Amen. Hey, I got good news for you. You're, right? I, try me. But you better have good news after you say that. But hey, Brother Joe, I got good news for you. Right? Because anticipation is, oh my goodness, I can't wait. This is good news. Amen. Praise God. Good news. Amen. Gospel is good news. Who is the good news? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. This is why the fruit of everything is. I don't judge people. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't. Amen. I don't judge people. I don't. Do not judge. Do not grumble. Do not complain. Just stay focused. Hallelujah. Stay focused on the Holy One. Stay focused on what God did for you. Amen. Let God be God. God will do it. You can't save him. You can't do it. God will. Hallelujah. And when you stay focused that way, God will make sure your house is covered by my blood. My, my anointing will overflow in and through you. Hallelujah. But you'll notice that other religions and everything else, this is why they get so crunchy. There is no Lord Jesus Christ. There is no Holy Spirit. And the only way to get Holy Spirit, that peace, gospel of peace, good news of peace. See, Lord Jesus Christ come, hallelujah, here's gospel, good news, amen. But then Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the gospel, amen, I am him, hallelujah, he is agape. Listen now, church, Holy Spirit is just laying everything down right now, hallelujah. Here's Lord Jesus saying, I am the gospel, I am who I am. I am in the Father, the Father is in me. I am who I am, I am the gospel. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. And then he says, I need to leave, but I don't leave you this world's peace. Peace, I leave you. 
Peace I give you. My peace I give to you. Hallelujah. Who is that peace? Say his name. Holy Spirit. And this is standing in the gospel of peace. Feet planted. Hallelujah. Do that with me. Feet planted. Even if you're sitting down, put your hands on your knees and push your feet down in the ground. Feet planted in the gospel of peace. How is this gospel of peace? How do I hold firmly to that? Hallelujah. Father God loves me. He is my father. He gave me Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ took everything on that cross. I died in him and I am in Lord Jesus Christ for all of eternity. Holy Spirit has sealed me. He is my every breath. Amen. This is, hallelujah, the gospel of peace. Whoa, hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And when you have peace this way, guess what? You know the good news is alive in you. And you just ooze good news. You just ooze being a blessing. You just ooze being, hallelujah, rejoice. Amen. Just happy. Hallelujah. You don't walk around. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, look at them over there. Why aren't they doing that? I'm doing this. They're not doing that. Holy Spirit has nothing to do with that. Amen? And glory to God, aren't you so blessed? Amen? Just say amen. Hallelujah, we are. Gooder and gooder. He's the only one good. Aren't we so blessed that Holy Spirit would be this intimate with us to protect? Say with me, protect the anointing. Amen? Hallelujah. Say with me, I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. Amen. Last time I checked, when you build a house on a solid foundation, is that house going to worry when 30 mile an hour winds come by? No, of course not. Amen. But if the house is not built on solid foundation, now there's question, right? Now worry comes in. Now anxiety comes in, right? Uncertainty, insecurities. Right? And this is what the enemy preys on. And right now, Holy Spirit is saying is that if there's anything going on right now, right? Let's be transparent. Let's, let's just lay everything down at the altar of God. Amen? Hallelujah. And I love this because it layers over itself. Hallelujah. When you know that Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah, you know that he is my, say it with me, rock. He is my rock. He is my cornerstone. He is my foundation. Amen? My salvation, hallelujah, God has saved my soul for all of eternity. He is the keeper of my soul. You see, the anointing of Lord Jesus Christ is that as you worship him, as you lift up his holy name, as you bless God our Father, God himself will go back into your soul, into the times of the hurtest, most darkest, most crunchiest parts of your life, and he will erase it through the blood, and it's only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And then in the spirit, this is my fortress. Hallelujah. Say it with me, my fortress. You see, your fortress is the holy of holies and how you protect your anointing. Amen. How you protect your anointing. Hallelujah. See, as a child of God, you have Jesus Christ as your Lord. Amen. See, Holy Spirit right now is showing you and telling you things that you're doing that you're not supposed to do. But God gives us free will that we can lay it down and surrender it, crucifying this flesh. And living a life holy and pleasing to God Almighty. Or, or we can choose to keep that and say, Holy Spirit, I know you, I hear you, but I want this because, let's just be frank, I like doing it. I find enjoyment in it. Oh, well, it's just so stressful and I need to do this. I'm going to tell you right now, that's between you and God Almighty. I don't judge you, but I'm saying Holy Spirit wants to bless you with a fresh anointing. As he exposes this thing, he's asking you, will you stop? Will you lay it down? Because when you lay this down, you have no idea what I'm protecting you from. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Say it with me. I will not be shaken. Hallelujah. I will not be shaken. Hallelujah. When you trust, glory to God, when you trust, you don't have any concerns about being shook. Amen. When you trust a chair, amen. Like one of these chairs in our, in our blessed sanctuary. When you trust it, you just walk up to it, right? Plop down on it, amen? Boop, sit down, right? There doesn't take that much trust there because you can see it's a chair and it has four legs, right? But what if it was a chair and there's only three legs and the other one just broke off, right? 
If that other one broke off, then now there's a question, and I don't really trust it. Right? See, God is the same way. God is saying, if you know who I am through Christ, my perfect sacrifice. This is Father God now saying this. If you know who I am through Christ, my beloved perfect sacrifice, my lamb that I sacrificed for you, so that I can tear that veil and dwell in you for all of eternity, you will trust me. And it's in that trust, in agape, hallelujah, as children of God, when we trust God this way, we don't need to understand. We don't need to go and do things. All we need to do is just worship Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And as you worship Lord Jesus Christ, it's the trust from the gospel of peace. Remember the good news of peace, the good news of Holy Spirit, that we are reminded we are never alone. Amen. That the anointing of God resides in the Holy of Holies. And glory to God, he knows that as you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, you have decided, you have made a choice, beloved child of God, that I'm not going to look at my situation and circumstance. Father God, I'm crying out to you. Amen. And the beauty of the anointing of the Holy Spirit is that when he manifests, when, not if, when he manifests in you, the moment you call on the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, God himself gives you the power to make change. Say that with me. Power. To make change. And in this power to make change, it shows by how we speak from the Holy of Holies. Because if you truly believe, hallelujah, if you truly believe Jesus Christ is Lord, then what takes place is Holy Spirit in the Holy of Holies now overflows and starts renewing how you think, how you see, how you hear. And now you will start lining up your words and speaking life and speaking blessing. And when you speak this life and you speak this blessing, God Almighty says you are trapped by the words that you speak. You will eat the fruit of the blessings that you speak. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. So when we speak this way and you speak blessings, imagine. Hallelujah. Brother David, Sister Virginia, bless us. We're, start, we're going to start doing gardening and everything. I'm so excited about that. Praise God. And you, you, you talk about planting all these seeds from Holy Spirit. Expect a hundredfold in return. Amen. But then the enemy wants you to speak curses though. What happens in those moments where you know who you are in Christ, but you don't see it manifest in when you want to. When you don't see the results that you want to or hoping, right? It's easy to grumble. It's easy to complain. It's easy to start bad mouthing. And right there is when the enemy goes, yes, I got this. Give me your power. Give it to me. Because it's with the words you speak that God said, you will eat the fruit. Notice what took place. The enemy has no authority, no power. He has no plan, right? Because we serve God and God Almighty, amen? But there is the principle of faith that when you speak that word, you will eat the fruit. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Say it with me, I will not be shaken. Many of us are shaken right now because it's of double-mindedness. That we say that we believe, but what comes out of our mouth is doubt. And what does the doubt manifest? Fear. The Word of God says if you're double-minded, don't expect anything from God. God says it Himself. Don't expect anything from me because you don't believe in my perfect Son. You don't believe in agape. But beloved church family, I know who I'm talking to, but Lord Jesus Christ is equipping through the anointing of His Holy Spirit to speak this power. And to go out and to demonstrate this power by just showing agape. Hallelujah. By not judging nobody. By not speaking bad. Not grumbling. Right? We're not going to do none of that. Because why? It hurts Holy Spirit. And remember, we protect. This is our fortress. Hallelujah. Fortress. Hallelujah. I remember when I was little. Real, real little. I used to like to hide under my bed a lot. Amen. And I remember just putting things, you know, just grabbing things, going under the bed and just, and just making, you know, just blocking everything off. It, it, praise God, it was, it was my safe place when I was little, right? But you got to think this fortress, amen? Can you imagine? Who can, who can touch God's fortress? Nobody. But the anointing that you have as a child of God is that your words can either continue to bless Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, 
bless the anointing, keep on building to your fortress, or your words can start destroying you. Amen? Say with me, no more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Psalm 62, verse 7 and 8, my salvation, my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock. Amen? My refuge. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him. For God is our refuge. Amen. Say with me. God is my refuge. Hallelujah. 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 He's our only safe place. He is our Father. Amen. He is our Daddy. For many of you who are blessed with, with, with amazing earthly daddies. Amen. Oh my goodness. God bless you guys. That's a blessing from the Lord. Don't take that for granted. Amen. Send them a text. If you live with them, give them a hug. Amen. I mean, I mean, praise God for, for godly daddies, amen, that can demonstrate our heavenly father in an earthly form, amen? And, and, and I love this picture the Holy Spirit gave me as we just made that statement just right now, is that can you imagine how it was when you were little? I didn't, I, I didn't have this, but when, 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 when you wanted to run into your daddy's arms, praise God I have that now, hallelujah, but you're blessed with a good daddy, a, a, a good earthly daddy, Right? And I just love hearing stories from my brothers and sisters that talk about their daddy. Right? Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter because you know why? We have a good and perfect father in heaven. Hallelujah. He is our father. Amen? And I'm just so thankful for that, for that life-changing revelation that no matter what, the moment we do this to our daddy, do that with me, church. The moment we do this, you already know you could feel it. He picks us up and he's like, what's going on, babe? Huh? Amen? Don't you love that? I know many of you right now just know God that way. You can just hear our Father God going, who hurt you? What's going on? Huh? And he's God Almighty. He already knows what he just wants to, right? And I pray in Jesus' name, this is how intimate we are getting with the Lord in this season that is about, you know, it's over. You hear me say it all the time, it's over. Amen? The coronavirus is rebukes along with everything else. But I will tell you though, trumpet's about to blow off and glory to God we need to be ready church amen we need to be ready hallelujah say with me be ready say with me I am ready hallelujah in Jesus name amen in addition to all this we're going to close in the scripture in addition to all this and this is where Holy Spirit wanted to close because God wants to start touching on the armor and as you know, we spent a lot of time in peace, in Holy Spirit. Amen. We are Holy Spirit's church. We're a new covenant church. Hallelujah. Covered by the blood of God through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are a new covenant. God lives in every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. And it's in this, in the gospel of peace, that our feet are fitted. Right? We talk about this a lot having to do with our identity. Amen. Our identity in Christ our Lord. Our identity as a beloved child of God. Our identity as far as I am forgiven. Now the question is, do you forgive yourself? Right? Do you forgive yourself? Do you forgive your neighbor? Whoever it is that did you wrong. Amen? Once again, that's between you and God Almighty. But what God wants is, you say Jesus Christ is Lord. That means everything is gone. Hallelujah. Everything is gone. Covered by the blood. Washed clean. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God for a fresh start. Amen. For a new start. Hallelujah. Take up. This word take up, when you study this word take up, hallelujah, it means hold firmly. Take up. Hold firmly. Hold fast. Believe. Hallelujah. Hold firmly. Say that with me. Hold firmly. The shield of faith with which you can who can? You can. Amen? Who can? You can. Say with me, I can. God is saying, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. How many? Hallelujah. How many? All. Hallelujah. Every dart that the enemy, Satan himself, can throw. Every, every distraction God says, if you hold firmly, if you hold firmly to the shield, I will extinguish it all through you. 
Hallelujah. You can. Beloved church family, you can. And glory to God, I asked God. I said, show me that shield of faith. Amen. And right there on the screen, you'll see it come up on your screen. And there is the shield. Amen. And I thank God. I thank God that he is our shield. Amen. But as you know, this is our shield. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. And when we hold firmly to the shield of faith, when we understand that the spirit of faith is believing in our heart, speaking, hallelujah, believe and speak. We, hallelujah, Holy, Holy Spirit just taught us right now the importance of the life that we speak. Either we speak blessings or we speak curses. It's the choice is yours, but God said you will eat the fruit in which you plant in the seed. You will plant this, right? God says what you speak, it is your seed, and you will plant this. And when you plant it, God said you will eat the fruit that comes from that. Amen. And so when we understand, hallelujah, in this relationship with agape and the anointing, hallelujah, church, say with me, anointing. Say with me, I am anointed. When you say I am anointed of God, that means Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and you worship him and only him. And that Holy Spirit will speak and teach you and he will tell you things that glory to God. Sometimes, guess what? It hurts. But you know, in a relationship with God Almighty, I have to crucify it. I'm done being sick. See, somebody needs to say that right now. I'm done being sick. I'm done being sick. I'm done with poverty. I'm done with bondage. I'm done. I crucify it right now in Jesus Christ's name. You see, you cannot have resurrection power if you do not crucify it. And God is saying, will you crucify it? Amen. See, when we know that we hold firmly, hold firmly, to Lord Jesus Christ as our shield. He is the faith. Amen. This means that every thought you take captive and you submit it to Lord Jesus Christ. As you do this, as you do this in worship, that my flesh is not going to have any say in how I live this holy life. Because nothing good comes out of the flesh. But when the flesh is crucified and resurrected as the body of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, it's just going to get gooder and gooder now. Because as it gets gooder and gooder, knowing that I am in the body of Christ, that I hold firmly to my faith, my faith is Lord Jesus Christ, I know, I know, God, you love me. You are my Father. And I know that as I give you praise for what you did in everything that you sacrificed through your perfect beloved Son, I know and I trust, Holy Spirit, you're in my every breath. You know me by name. And I will fight, I will fight to continuously cleanse your temple. I will continue to turn over things, lay it down at your feet, and just worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So remember, the worship service tonight was hold firmly. Say that with me. Hold firmly. And I pray in Jesus' name that this message bless your socks off. That God Almighty is flowing through you in ways that he never flowed through before. And it's because you said, as a beloved child of God, I don't want this no more, Father. Father, I, I, you know, there's some of you right now that you're going to get rid of this medication that you're on. And glory to God, Holy Spirit, give you a fresh anointing, a healing. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Say that with me. Wisdom. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship. For coming together. Amen. Thank you so much for your support. We thank you so much. Thank you for your worship and giving. Hallelujah. We pray that God blesses your finances because it's his money. But God knows that you were obedient in worship to bless him with an offering. And if you want to give your offering, visit us please at oacchurch.com. Once again, that's oacchurch.com. And over there you'll see a bunch of our our videos, we have an offering tab there. You can give whatever is convenient for you. Praise God. I just want to say thank you so much. And we just want to be obedient to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We do not want to rob any worship. Hallelujah. And yes, giving is a form of worship. Amen. Praying, giving, fasting. Hallelujah. And I just want to say thank you again so much for all the prayers. Hallelujah. 
I thank God for you. I thank God that you bless him and you allow Holy Spirit to flow through you like never before. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Miss you so much, church family. I am so excited with what God is doing through us. Hallelujah. I am so excited with this new season that we are in. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so excited as far as God. You could feel God's hand just reaching all throughout the community. You could feel it. You could see it. I'm bringing in, bringing in families, you know, that just want to worship Lord Jesus Christ in Holy Spirit truth. Hallelujah. In the anointing. Glory to God. Thank you so much once again. Love you. I miss you guys so, so much. Praise God. This is all behind us. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. God is the only one good. Amen. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus name. Amen. I love you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Mwah.